much I know about McKinney, feel the rack knees with 10 trillion ants swimming all over with mandibles latching. Atlantis finest, me and Tis Madness, the Otis. I blind Palo Osiris, so solid go my dis. And to be exact, this the ain't no more playing GA Temeray, open all three of your eyelids. The highest title, numero uno, commander in chief on this beat. Romando your fleet of Guantanamo, I saw we playing dominoes, man. We hop in the whip, bumping the Celia Cruz and I know they go Calderon. Then hit the liquid eyes, looking like Riddick Chronicles, Dominoes. It's the honorable Apache break, Geronimo, woke path on the prodigal, keeping your eye on the Powerball. Now you see we switching lanes. What y'all really know about the Ripper's fame? So many nicknames shot down in flames. Whoa, after whoa, we see through they games. Password hood rave pound settle those those those. Shout out to be for high weight folk holding down oats. Oh, mid mid day to my ex come song. Ex decimal syllabary let you go goon metal chrome. Poem manifesting in song. And took one for my folks that's gone. I'm so good, I'm on. The book gets on. Good looking thrown. Keep booking down. This here Brooklyn calm. Keep on cooking, y'all. Or make sure to check your phone. And update the song. And talk one for my folks that's gone. And this goes back to TNC Surf. About the same time, Bill Tez like adventure had crossed my turf. DNA time travel, ley line of earth. Master of rain, kick flip on birth. Triptych televised, picnic reverse. Misfits telling lies, lifted the curse. Hit hit hooray, Don Quixote Bay. Trick switch terrorize, this is the verse. Boom, this is another TTM Academy lecture. This is DJ Radon. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about what happened last week with True pulling a heater, right? Pulling a Draco on a woman at a Whole Foods that he was having a, a confrontation with. And obviously the woman is uh, uh, knew who he was. She recognized him. It was a confrontation. But I'm talking about the bigger picture, the fact that... Uh, you know, um, Mariah Lynn Carey, uh, Kelly, I'm sorry, she, you know, slayed her mother uh, with the kitchen knife, right? And I believe also Malia pulled a heater on somebody, right? So it's like we got these cult members, uh, Nature Boy disciples, not only slaying people, but also pulling heaters out on people. So, you know, I'm also a father and I don't want to be at Whole Foods with my family and have to worry about these Nature Boy cult members, disciples, basically uh, doing crazy stuff. Because if you go to uh, True's, uh, let's say you go to True's like Instagram, it says the greatest disciple of Elysio, right? So, you know what I'm saying? He's, a, he's literally saying that he's a disciple of this guy that he looks at as the Messiah, and he's rolling around homeless with a heater. Now, I'm not dissing homelessness. You know, I've had friends, you know, that are that have been homeless and friends that are probably homeless right now. You know, as an artist, as a musician, uh, you know, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends are broke. You know what I'm saying? So in this, uh, so I'm not hating on homelessness. I'm just questioning uh, the safety of um, a homeless cult member pulling guns on people, pulling heaters, uh, and, uh, you know, existing within the Atlanta community, living in the woods and coming out of the woods to go to Whole Foods and, you know, uh, brandishing heaters on women. You know what I'm saying? And, and also, you know, we know that with this cult, they, uh, you know, they, they, they beat up women, they, you know, um, they beat up each other, you know, they have circle beat downs and stuff like that. And, you know, you know, you take all that into account, you know, it's very, very, uh, you know, it's very, very tragic that that sister would have to have a, a, a toolie pull on her. But, you know, a lot of people say she deserved it and that she was stalking him. But regardless of the matter is that he's a dude and, you know, dudes shouldn't be fighting women. Dudes shouldn't be pulling out heaters on women. Especially, you know, if it's a, a internet fan or Stan that is recognizing them, you know what I'm saying? It's like if if somebody recognizes you and, you know, it's like obviously he doesn't have security, but 
you know, um, you know, a lot of people feel like he should be standing his ground and, and that he's, you know, that's cool. I'm just saying it's not cool because she's a woman. You know what I'm saying? If it was a dude, yeah, then maybe, uh, you know, it would have been more justified. But this guy is a, is a weirdo. And on the bigger picture, I'm just talking about the fact that these cults, uh, you know, have not only had members, disciples that have slayed people, but, you know, now they're getting to the point of uh, uh, the, the temperature is slowly, slowly rising. Like, you know, when they say the crab in the, the, the crabs in the barrel type of thing, I mean, the crabs in the bucket don't notice the, um, the temperature of the water rising. Um, my fear is that something crazy is going to happen with some of these, uh, some of the last members of carbonation, um, as it relates to guns or violence, you know? So today we're going to be, uh, you know, since, uh, uh, I resided in Atlanta, I, I want to know what Whole Foods that was because, you know, the tea hasn't been very transparent on, uh, on what they're actually doing. You know, as far as like uh, all their videos being posted and, and showing all the information, like they showed a little clip of, uh, of what happened, but they're not showing everything. And, you know, there's a million videos they're not showing and we'll do a whole nother lecture on that. But so today we're just going to do uh, an, an investigative thing on where did this happen? Which Whole Foods did True pull a heater out on a woman? You know what I'm saying? And we're going to look. So we got Google Earth right here. We're going to click on Whole Foods Locations Atlanta. All right. Here we go. So we're zooming in. This is Atlanta. Boom. So we see there's one, two, three, four, five, six locations in Atlanta. Now, the Carbonation Colt, you know, was in uh, the west, uh, the east side of Atlanta, right there in the east side of Atlanta. And uh, I guess yeah, over here somewhere, I forget exactly where they were, but, but uh, you know, so we're going to try to figure out through uh, the little few frames that we have of this, um, this video that was posted and try to figure out where it was. Because if you, you see this, you know, you can see that he had problems with this woman and then, uh, you know, he pulls out, you see that he says he, uh, press play. He says, I, I, I don't know, I pulled out a heater on the, the woman, right? So, you know, I go to Whole Foods, you know. I'm not going to say which ones I tend to go to, but, uh, you know, I'm more of a Sevenanda, um, Publix, Kroger, uh, even, um, you know, kind of person, even uh, Trader Joe's. I don't go to Whole Foods that much, but there's specific things sometimes that I'll get from Whole Foods. Uh, I'm not a fan of Whole Foods, but yeah, I just want to know. So this is an investigative uh, uh, thing where we're going to actually try to figure out and triangulate. So you can see they're at a Whole Foods uh, parking lot that is uh, basically uh, in an area that has a lot of trees around it, right? We can't tell the size of the parking lot, right? We see that um, this happened. Now what I'm going to do is this. So we're going to we're going to go to Google Earth. We can see this building has there's buildings with white awnings and black windows and uh, red brick structures. We can also see, um, you know, because I'm not I'm not trying to uh, run into this fool. I'm not trying to go to no Whole Foods that uh, uh, that occults uh, that that's already slayed people and some Manson stuff. Uh, a, a homeless disciple of you know nature boy is 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 packing right but before we get into that actually let's let's actually go to uh can a homeless can homeless people own guns because that was my first thought was like so can homeless people own guns and let's see so let's look at that let's look at that question can homeless people own guns it says yes, but owning it legally can be tricky based on local laws. For example, there are places where you must have a permit to keep it concealed on your person, but you can freely keep it in your home. A homeless per but see if there's no home, where do they keep the gun? But he's got a car, so obviously uh, the car is is probably a kosher place for him to keep it. Let's see, a homeless person will be required to have to to have a carry permit. In that case, they might have to keep it on their person at all times, which could be inconvenient. 
There would be certain places that they could not take it, courthouses, most government buildings, hospitals, similar places, without a home where they could leave it that could be problematic, like if they're going to a food kitchen, right, or, or they're going to a shelter. But he's living out of his car. He's not going to a shelter, right? So let's, uh, let's look at the Georgia laws right here. So, uh, you know, the Constitutional Carry Bill approved by Georgia House on March 11th this year. Atlanta, the Georgia House has approved a bill that would allow heater owners to carry their firearms in public without a permit. House Bill 1358 passed uh, 94 to 57 on early Friday morning, moving to the Senate for debate. Um, and the Senate passed a similar measure last month in a tweet. Brian Kemp praised the House for its vote. So it's great to see so much support for the Second Amendment as the General Assembly considers bills to uphold this, this fundamental rights. You know, so I'm, for me personally, I'm, I, I'm not a, a, a I, don't, I don't carry heaters or I'm not a gun owner, but uh, I'm pro um, people to, to have the right to bear arms. You know, I'm not against people bearing arms, right? And I'm not against true bearing arms, but... You know, when when somebody's a disciple of a madman and that and of, of a cult that that people have already been slaying people in Atlanta, you know, it makes me feel a little bit unsafe going to uh, Whole Foods, knowing some some crazy man, uh, you know, might recognize me from a video and and roll up on me or something. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so yeah, they they passed that law. So what is the uh, current current carry laws in Georgia? Currently, Georgians must have a weapons carry license or WCL in order to carry a concealed weapon in public. Although people can carry rifles and shotguns in many places without a permit and carry unloaded guns in cases, residents have to apply for a WCL through their county's probate court. Applicants must pass a criminal background check, pay an average fee of 75 and provide their fingerprints. Convicted felons and people who have been hospitalized for mental health problems or receive treatments for drugs or alcohol in the years preceding the application are not eligible. So uh, I'm not sure if he's had any of those things. But uh, yeah, so they just passed that bill. Um, now let's look at the local restrictions before we go into the Google Earth stuff. Georgia law generally prohibits people from carrying firearms in the following locations, in a courthouse, jail, or prison, in a place of worship, within 100 feet of active polling place, except for security personnel, in a state mental health facility, that admits individuals on an involuntary basis for treatment of mental illness, de developmental disability, or addictive disease on the premises of a nuclear power facility in the restricted act um, in the restricted access area of a commercial service airport or beyond the airport security screening checkpoint on a K through 12 school property buildings, at, um, basically. And um, these locations restrictions generally do not apply to a firearm possessed by a lawful weapons carrier if the firearm is under the license holder's control in a motor vehicle or is in a locked compartment container or firearms rack in a motor vehicle parked in a parking facility, right? So if it's parked at a parking facility, but if it's parked in a, in a, in a, in a park, park, uh, 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 you know, if he's in a park in Georgia living, um, as a homeless person, you know, is, uh, is does that count you know what i'm saying because you know if, if cops rolled up on him and said louie like to search your vehicle and they found a heater and he did have the registration for it is he allowed to do that right um so conversely however lawful weapons carriers may generally carry handguns in parks historic sites and recreational areas including all publicly owned buildings and public transportation in these areas provided that they do not carry the heater in, into any place where it is prohibited by federal law. Lawful weapons carriers may also generally carry a heater in a government building if the building is open for business and where ingress into such buildings is not restricted or screened by security personnel. All right, so let's go back to this. So he's allowed to, he's allowed to have it, right? He's allowed to have it. So which Whole Foods is he at? So let's start with... Uh, we're going to start with uh, this Whole Foods. We're, you know, basically we're in the world uh, was, uh, was true. And, uh, you know, and also I want to give a shout out to World News for doing the triangulation stuff of trying to figure out which park true is at, which park he's residing in. It. And, uh, you know, because we might assume he might be at a park near where he was, but really 
you know, I was in uh, I was uh, in high school. In high school, I had my girlfriend uh, in high school. Uh, Tosca, shout out to Tosca. We we were young and we were trying to find a place to like make out and whatever. And uh, this is when I was living way up in Gwinnett. You know, I was living way up in uh, in Duluth, like way up way up north. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was trying to find a, we were trying to find a place to like, you know, chill and make out. And we rolled up into a park and we started, you know, uh, getting on or whatever. And then boom, you know, police roll up because we had uh, triggered a, a security thing for that particular park. So, you know, there's some parks that have high security, some parks don't. But uh, yeah, shout, shout out to World News for triangulating these crazy people. But yeah, so right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna zoom in. All right, I'm gonna use uh, we're using Google Earth. We're gonna zoom in using this like 3D function right here. So let me see. I'm gonna click 3D. Boom. All right. So this is Atlanta. I don't know why it's like turning around like that. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna look at these different Whole Foods, right? So let's let's we're gonna start within the city first. So I'm gonna click over here, this Whole Foods, and let's go, see what it says. Cause I'm just like, you know, where was this? Where did this happen? You know, I looked on Bigo, I, I couldn't see it. Let's see, maybe I won't hit, maybe I'll hit 2D again. All right, so this map's all crazy, but let's see, let's click on that, there we go. I'm zooming in. We're zooming into this Whole Foods. All right, now let's let's hit 3D. So this this Whole Foods, this is uh, downtown Atlanta. Um, this is Ponce right here. This is Ponce. I actually went to high school to the left at Paideia. You know, people are always like, "Yo, why, why you talk white?" This and that. I went to private school in my life. All right, uh, but yeah, so, and also there is no such thing as talking white because, you know, we invented language before any other ethnicities even existed, right? And we have the full, we have the ability to, to use the full lexicon and any accent we choose, right? Uh, yeah, so, you know, so this is the Whole Foods that's uh, over by, um, by, across the street from Pond City Market. This big building here is Pond City Market. And if you go to this Whole Foods, right, you know, um, this is a very small parking lot. It doesn't look like this is where they were, right, unless they drove somewhere else when uh, that video from the T was taken. Um, so let's say we, we get closer and we come into the parking lot, right? Let's go back to this. But we do see, uh, we see black awnings. We see some white awnings, right? And we do see uh, brick buildings, right? So it could be this one. It could have been. It could have been this one. Let's go back to the uh, the the encounter, right? See, it's very hard to see what. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more, so you can see a little bit more. It's very hard to see what where they are. But right, we can see that there's these different, uh, let's see. So we can see right here, there's a building that has a, it starts with the R, it's white, it has, starts with the R, and it's got a, a triangle right there. You see that? It says R, it could be a B as well. And it's a building that's like a standalone building that's white. And that's pretty much one of the only buildings we can really see as far as, uh, you know, I can't tell if that's like Realty or REG. It looks like it says REG, right? So let's go back to the, uh, the Google Earth and see if we can see something like that. Because I've been over here before. It's like there's a Mexican spot right there. I don't see a white building with REG anywhere, right? We're at Whole Foods right but we do see uh red brick right and then there's a a home depot over here 
right? But we don't, but see this thing is real slender right here. This parking lot is very, very slender. The other one seems sp more spacious, like they were in a different neighborhood, like it wasn't this one. Doesn't seem like it's this one, but the bricks look very similar, but a lot of, a lot of uh, buildings in Atlanta have that, right? But yeah, we don't see a white building with uh, the green pyramid and the and the R on it, right? So we're looking around. I don't see it. I don't see a white building, a standalone white building with the R on the side. We see a white CVS, right? This is behind it. All right, so let's move on. All right. I got a homie actually that works there. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, all this stuff is very close to home. Like, you know, cult members pulling out heaters on, uh, on regular people, you know, uh, it's kind of troubling, right? And, um, and it's just, you know, just weirdos running around Atlanta doing crazy stuff. Uh, this is actually a, a famous eatery called Eats right here. I think the food's nasty. Eats has always been nasty to me. When I was in high school, Eats was nasty. But yeah, so, alright, so we're going to zoom out. So, I don't think it's that one. It doesn't seem like it's that Whole Foods. Right, so let's go to the next Whole Foods. We did that one. Alright, this one's in very much in the center of the city. So we're going to go to this one. And it's definitely not this one. Because this... Cause this one is uh, in the middle of the city. There's no parking lots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can see the buildings look totally different. Um, there's no actual parking lot to actually have a confrontation in this one. This is an inner city Whole Foods, right? This one's inner city. All right, so we're going to go to the next one. We're going to zoom out of this, right? We don't see any buildings, white building with the... Uh, the triangle on it, green text, there's a white building here, but see, it's got to be in a parking lot, and they weren't in a parking lot, it, there's, I mean, there's no parking lot here, so we know it's not that one, so we're going to zoom out, this looks kind of ill, we're going to zoom out, so we did that one, so yeah, so we did this Whole Foods, we did that one, now we're going to go over here, to this Whole Foods, all right, and notice Whole Foods are only in the uh, above twenty, above I twenty in Atlanta. It's only in the you know uh, your the 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 neighborhoods that aren't uh, majority black. Like where I live, you know, it's a food desert. You know what I'm saying? The swats. You know. Um, let's see. So let's go to this one. Even though you know Swats has huge mansions and there's there's extremely affluent black communities in the swaths but yet we're not allowed to have a whole foods because we don't have enough uh people of uh you know that aren't that aren't our uh, ethnicity out here and that's how it works with loans and all that type of stuff they're not trying to uh they, you know they're trying to make food deserts even in wealthy black neighborhoods all right so this whole foods is in a, is right here let's look at this one So this one has some white buildings around. I don't see where the actual Whole Foods is. This looks closer to what it could it could have been. I don't know how to like swivel this around. So I'm guessing that the Whole Foods is the uh this is, yeah, that must be the this whole big white building from the top is is Whole Foods. But yeah, I don't see that building with uh the green tech. See that building. Let's keep it moving. I don't want this lecture to be too long. But let's go back to uh, what it looked like. See, this parking lot is very, very small here. That parking, like where they were, was it was a very, very huge parking lot. Now let's look at there's a lot of construction over here. I don't see that white building with the uh, green text that starts with the R. Right. So let's go over here, right next to it. I don't see anything over there. But yeah, let's let's go back to uh, the actual uh, video, right? We can see more of it. 
So you see there's that building. And we can see other, you can see that there's no buildings in this direction. So it's in an area that has a lot of trees. And it's very spacious. We see some gray buildings, white buildings, right? Some Tesla, uh, some, you know, charging stations, right? And then where the uh, confrontation happens, we can see once again, it's like some black windows, some white awnings. All right, so let's go back to Google Earth, right? It doesn't look like this one, right? It doesn't look like this one, right? Because we don't even see charging stations here. This is a very small Whole Foods. It looks like it has a parking deck in this one. It's very small. So we're going to zoom out of that. So that's the third one. We're almost through all six of these. Right? So we did this one, this one, this one. Now let's go over to this one. All right? This is the fourth one. So we're going to zoom in. All right, now this one's on a big, busy street. This one could be it, because we see the Whole Foods, right? Let's zoom out a little bit. Now we see, uh, um, we don't see the brick buildings, the red brick buildings, but we are seeing some, like, different awnings that look similar to some black awnings, right? But I'm looking for that white building that... Uh, you know, has the uh, green text on it. I don't see it. So let's see. Let's go over here. Right? Doesn't look like it's over here. But yeah, when I, if you go in this Bego, the, the video's not up. I don't even know how Bego works. I don't even really have an account. But I was trying to see, uh, see on there or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so we don't know. You know, there's a lot of holes in, in a, a lot of stuff that's been happening. And, you know, the, the T's been hoarding a, a lot of information. And the thing is, is that, you know, there's all these investigations going on. And if the T were to disseminate more information, people would be, you know, this world would be a safer place. There's a lot of information they're concealing that could help other people press, you know, different charges and things like that or... or help the police find this guy because we don't know if his his guns is legal and all that but uh you know i'm just saying that that anytime you have a cult where people are actually slaying people and you know one of their disciples calls himself the main disciple you know he, he might try to slay somebody just like mariah lynn and kelly you know but i don't see that building there was a standalone building i see you know this is Publix over here this is like next door Right, we don't see that one. I think we can eliminate this one. Uh, let me go back to where the Whole Foods was. That's next door to Publix. But uh, this doesn't seem like that same parking lot. Right, I don't see any uh, charging stations. Right. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna try another one. So let's zoom out, because this one's on a big busy street. If We would have probably seen that street or something like that. Right. All right. So I'm going to zoom out of this one. All right. So then we're going to go to the next Whole Foods. All right. So we did uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. We did those four. Now we're going to do this one. All right. And there's only going to be one more. We're going to do that that one. Right. So let's let's do this fifth one. All right. We're going to zoom in. This might be it. Right. We see some uh, different. Uh, a lot of structures in this one this seems like it could be more of the place just because there's so much uh, it's a more vast parking lot right so this is Whole Foods right here right and we see the uh, the red brick and this is a big enough parking lot to probably have charging stations but uh, yeah, so if you see uh, over here, we also see the uh, the awnings. We see some different awnings, you know, black, uh, black, uh, you know, 
little awning canopies right there. But we still don't see that one building that was like a standalone building that it might have been across the street. Let's see, looking for the white building. We still don't see it. But it could be this right here. It could be this, the back of this building right here that we saw. Right? Because the building had a, um, you know, that text on it. Let's see. But yeah, and this has also a vast parking lot system where they could have driven to somewhere else, to another spot. It could have been over here, but that doesn't look like where he was. Right, so let's, let's go back to the video, right? And you can see it has a very, very distinct look to where it is, right? And actually we see some white awnings, not even black awnings. We see white awnings and red brick in the building with black windows. Right, so let's let's go back to where we were. We could probably just zoom out of this one because we don't even see the uh, the white awnings. Right, we see these black awnings, but obviously these things could have changed over the years. We don't know when this picture was taken. And we see here's a Lowe's parking lot. This is probably more likely the, the place because it's way bigger. Um, yeah, let's see. Yep. I don't see anything that looks similar. So let's go to the last one. Now let's see if this building is the one with the green. Uh, nope. It's not that building. Let's look on this side. Nope. Nope. But yeah, let's keep looking. All right. So let's so let's zoom out of this one. We're gonna go to the last Whole Foods, and I think you know there might be other ones in some uh, farther outside the city. But we're gonna go here, and let's try this one. See what? Let's see. Now this might be it because we're seeing uh, white awnings. We're seeing brick. This might just be it. And it looks huge. It's a huge parking lot. And it looks like there might be charging stations. Now let's keep looking. I'm, I'm really looking for that white building uh, with the, uh, the green text on it. But uh, I'm not seeing it. Obviously, they could have painted the building another color, but this is probably it because we're seeing white awnings, right? This one, I feel like none of the other ones really have white awnings with with black windows, like this right here. We're seeing, uh, you know, this this has some black windows, but you can see there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's these white awning structures. But yeah, so let me see. But yeah, if uh, any of y'all know which one it is, uh, just, uh, you know, you can put it in the comments. You can put it in the comments, you know, if you know, if you have any inside information. Because, you know, I was just curious, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, I don't want to be shopping and, uh, you know, seeing a cult member that I recognize off of TV, uh, you know, talking about, nature boy being the messiah i don't want to see uh run into him in the uh in the line at the grocery store you know what i'm saying all right so let's see this is I'm, i was looking for that one white building but yeah i'm not seeing it and it could have been they drove somewhere else too right and that wasn't even at the whole foods at that point so let's let's zoom out a little bit and let's look at this building right here. Oh, that's a chase. But yeah, if anybody knows, uh, let me know. Because, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, 
be anywhere where, uh, you know, basically a new modern nature boy Manson uh, is having disciples slay people and rolling around with heaters, you know, living in the park. You know what I'm saying? Talking about proclaiming the kingdom. You know, it's madness. You know, and I, I've been following them, you know, this whole fiasco, this whole crazy cult thing since like, you know, they all got arrested in the bus. And it's just madness to see they expand like this because they really think it's an organized religion, like a religion, like, you know, like they're going to have their own, you know, book of truth in the future. Like they look at them. He looks at himself as a, as a real disciple. You know what I'm saying? And he looks at himself as like, you know, p people are going to be following their religion in the future and, you know, and they're going to be, you know, looking at them like saints. You know what I'm saying? But we all know, you know, what, what True did to his sister. We talked about that in the last lecture. Uh, or his sisters, you know, he might have, uh, you know, R. kelly them. Um, you know, or he most likely did, you know what I'm saying? Because he admitted it and he tried to retract it and, and stuff like that. But yeah, let me see. This building right here could actually be that white building. You know what I'm saying? It could have been over here, right? But that white building seemed like it was far away. So let's go to here one more, one last time, and just kind of review the little little clips that we do have of uh, of the background of it, right? Because that's 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 kind of hard to pinpoint. That very very hard to pinpoint. Uh, I noticed that the area has uh, black lights, like black lamps, um, like street street lights. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Go back. I'm just trying to look at. Let's see. So we see that gray building too. But yeah, we see the Tesla chargers. This is what I was trying to talk about. This right here, where let's see, right here you see there's black, there's like black lights there. Or is that a sign? All right, so we can see we can clearly see this building right here. That's a, uh, it's a white corner building that has like a um, very futuristic, like uh, little black awning roof thing right here. All right, so let, let's give it one more look. All right. Let's give it one more look. All right, so that was a corner thing, and it had, look at the text. The text is, now, it looks like a sign that's like a temporary sign. All right, looks like maybe that's an empty building or something like that. All right. But yeah, you can see the back of the building is 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 red, and then there's a white uh, building in the corner of it, right? So let's let's look for that one more time. The back of the building is red, and it's a white corner. I'm not really seeing that, so it might not be this one. But see, like it could be this right here where the no, because see those, this looks different these awnings right here Zoe's kitchen so let's uh, zoom out let's go back all right so that was the last one let's let's zoom back so let's let's do a little recap let's go to this one I'm gonna go back to the one by Pond City Market now I'm very very certain it's not this one, but we're gonna look for a building that you know uh, that white building on the corner of a of a red brick building, right? And we don't see that here. We don't see a, a little white building in the corner. I've been over there. It's not there. All right, so we know it's not that one. All right, let's zoom out. All right, and then we know it's not this other downtown one right because there's no parking lot there all right so then it just it has to be one of these other four 
And look, there's a lot of parks around here, so it's pro he's probably going to one that's near wherever he's at in a park somewhere, right? But uh, let's let's uh, go over here again. Let's try this one again. We're gonna try this one one more time, and we're gonna look for that building in the corner. A white building but the rest of the building it should have some uh, red brick on the side but yeah I'm not seeing that and then once again this is the one with that small parking lot that probably doesn't have Tesla chargers you know so that's that one's definitely not it we can rule that out Boom. let's go back so it's, it's most likely not those three so we've kind of ruled uh, these three out right here. And we're gonna go back to here. We're just doing a quick backtrack, double take. And let's go into here. And let's look for that corner building. Right, remember we saw white on the corner, a white little building, but it was part of a, a red brick building like this it was a white building but the building itself was actually red brick all right so we see that but that's not it because look right that looks totally different right we see the, the red brick all right so we don't see red brick they could have painted over or put some other bricks in front of it some facade but uh i doubt it so it's probably not this one, right? We saw that corner building. It could be uh, this building right here. That building right there could be that. Right? Could be this, what we were looking at. But that we would see the red brick right there. And we don't see red brick. All right, so it's probably not this one let's zoom out so we got these four now we just got these two others left I'm gonna do again I'm gonna go back to this one I'm gonna zoom in and this one has the red brick and we're gonna look for the corner that building on the corner, and this one has all the awnings that kind of support it. So let's go to this corner here. And, you know, does that look like this? Not really. It's, it's each, the, the things are separated by bricks, by red bricks. So it's not that area over there, but there could be another part. Right, but yeah, so let's try it and let's do the last one. We're gonna go to the last one. We're just doing an uh, overview recap. All right, boom. Let's try this last one. And this one, the whole building is red brick. Cause remember it was a red brick building with the little section that was white jutting off of it. So it might just be an angle of something that we can't see. But, and you know, and there's also the black uh, street lights. And this isn't really showing us any lights. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna wrap this up. All right. So this has kind of been a little bit inconclusive. Let's see. Yeah, that was the last one. Now my guess is it's probably um, and I. It was a Whole Foods 365. That's why I wasn't coming up on Google Earth. 
we searched all those Whole Foods. It was actually, so I figured out that this is Regents Bank. It's a Regents Bank ATM. I thought it was a building at first. So I checked, basically, I was checking all the Regents Banks, you know what I'm saying, in the city, all these different region banks. But uh, I found, I, I was able to uh, figure it out. And, uh, you know, it, it ended up being this Whole Foods right here. So let's go in there. This is Whole Foods 365 in Decatur. So he's still in the Decatur area, not far from where their original house was. Right, so it's a Whole Foods 365. That's why it wasn't popping it up, because it was like, it's like a different name. The triangle was right here. This is the building with the green triangle. All right, so we're going to just go into the middle of the parking lot. And uh, Google Earth has this function where you can uh, walk around. So we're going to click there, and boom, all futuristic. And this is it. All right, Whole Foods 365, right? This is where it was. It was this Whole Foods where he pulled the gun. You see there's the, uh, I thought it was a Tesla charging station, but it might be one of those kiosk things right there. But yeah, this is the uh, where we were looking at. We were trying to triangulate where the brick building and the um, that white building that's connected to it, right? We saw this, this gray building. Right, and then we saw this, that's the regions, this regions thing right here. Right, so that's it right there. So we found it, right? So let me uh, turn off this uh, audio, right? So we found it. So yeah, so that's it right there. See, that's the gusto, see, G-U-S-T-O. It was hard to see that behind the trees, but now you can see it, it says gusto, and that's gusto right there, all right? So yeah, we found it, this is it, and then, I'm going to let it play a little bit more, right? And you can see right next to it is that white building, right? And then boom. I know about McKinney, Villa, Rack, Nears With 10 trillion ants, swimming all over with mandibles latching Atlantis finest, mantis modernist, the Otis Apple, Apollo, Osiris, so solid, go my this And to be exact, this the ain't no more playing G.A. Tamaray, open all three of your eyelids The highest tide, so numero uno, commander in chief on this beat Remember your fleet of Guantanamo, I saw we playing dominoes, man We hop in the whip, bump it to silly or cruise and I know they go Calderon Then hit the liquid eyes, looking like Riddick Chronicles Pominos It's the honorable Apache break, Geronimo, woke path on the prodigal Keeping your eye on the power ball Now you see we switching lanes What y'all really know about the Ripper's fame So many names, shot down in flames Woe after woe, we see through they games Password, hood, rave, pound, settle, dose, dose, dose Shout out to be for high weight, folk, holding down, oh Oh, mid, mid, day, took my ex, come song Exodicimal, syllabary, electric, old gloom, metal, chrome Poem, manifesting in song And took one for my folks that's gone I'm so good, I'm on The book gets sound Good looking throne Keep booking down This here Brooklyn calm Keep on cooking y'all Or make sure to check your phone And update the song And talk one for my folks that's gone And this goes back to TNC surf But the same time Billy Tez X adventure had crossed my turf DNA time travel lay line of earth Master of rain kick flip on earth Trip tick televised pit Reverse, misfits telling lies, lifted the curse, hit hit hooray, Don Quixote they bay, trick switch terrorize, this is the verse. And don't sleep on this light, this fight, grip mic, check the hype, this nitrous fight, this nice, this creepy ice, this neck bit close from my shoulder, we pirates, lynching and spices, lipping and prices, hiding your penny, your process, set a billion cycles, 50k host power, my ass will be bison, if it was in psychics, get hype when host is right in. Sound clash of titans, old techno viking, hotlander lightning. 
Chopping heads for biting out last the tight to stole low, no hype, man. What y'all really know about Atlanta like it's since it's hiking in jet suit silence, super cop sight tense through empathic mind tricks. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. What y'all suckers know about the science of siphon Scuba dive with dolphins, lights totally awesome Crossword crossing, crossword crosses Off-road boss hogs, dukes of caution Sonic clear raw dog, chronologically sawed off Quantum mechanic shotgun, Copenhagen options Go play the solid state, circuit boat gossip Popping and locking, 1990 the possum And who the Colossus of Gotham? Heavy in Austin, worldwide Boston And that's just for talking Zero gravity golfing, watch the bouncing spalding